Okay, hi everyone. Um, thanks for joining the live tutorial on how to use the SSP Sustainability Report search portal for direction on research priorities for SSP programs. As a reminder, anyone working for an AZA accredited institution can access the SSP Sustainability Reports by logging into the website. And when you log in, you're brought immediately to this My AZA page and then selecting SSP Sustainability Reports on in the left-hand navigation section. And it brings you straight to this search portal. Before we get going, I uh, just want to give a reminder about how to look up the SSP Sustainability Report for a particular program. So if you already know what report, what SSP you want to view. So if I enter Sand Tiger Shark, then I don't get any results. And that's why we encourage everybody to use one word for any of the text searches, especially for program name. So if I enter instead shark, then I get the shark results. I could even enter sand and get sand cat and sand tiger shark, or tiger and get sand tiger shark. As you can see, any of those work, um, but we really recommend whichever word you pick, just using one word at a time. Alternatively, if you have a few reports that you would like to view, you can use the associated tag search field. So in this case, I might go to the marine fishes tag, press go, and see all of the SSP sustainability reports for that group. So let's use the sand tiger shark as an example to go through and show what the SSV sustainability report includes. You can see on the first page there's a lot of basics about the species, the conservation status, where they live, um, elements of care and husbandry and special exhibit considerations, species appeal, so basically just bullet points about cool things about that species or those exhibits, messaging opportunities. You can tell this is basic but still very informative information if there's a multi-species exhibit opportunity, other aspects of care, aspects of care if you're going to breed the species, and so forth. And then it gets into the second section, SSP Sustainability Profile, and this is the section we'll mostly be focused on today. Uh, you can tell there's just basic information about what's going on in the population, information from publications like breeding and transfer plans, population viability analysis, if that's been published yet. And then page four, challenges to SSP sustainability, which is a breakdown of the priorities, the major challenges and needs for that SSP as it's uh, trying to achieve sustainability. And then also, I call your attention to additional research opportunities. We'll be going into that a little bit more later. And just to finish up, so everyone knows, there's also a section on acquisitions and transfers. So basically, what, is, what, what it's like moving around the species domestically, internationally, what's involved, what's planned, that sort of information. So going back to the page four, challenges to SSP population sustainability table. If you read through these needs, you can see this point about research species biology. So, and in addition to that, looking at additional research opportunities, there is a clear need for reproductive technology. So those are two research-related needs that this program has reported. Um, up here in the table, it's really critical needs. And in the bulleted list, it's additional research opportunities, so not critical. So clearly this SSP has a need for research, species biology and reproductive technology, and it's important that we designed a search field, going back to the search portal, so a search field that would connect individuals in the AZA research community to SSPs that need their expertise and resources. So how might I find this? If I, if I were someone who wanted to identify SSP species that had species biology research needs, how would I do that? I would look at the, at the very bottom of the page, go to species opportunities. So let's say, depending on who I am and what my specialty is, I want to narrow my field to just the fish programs. I would use the taxon field 
select fish and let's do a few different searches so that you can see how this comes up. So let's start with just species biology. So I'm entering species biology into research opportunities and I've narrowed it already to just fish and so these are the SSPs that have reported some sort of need for species biology research. I could do the same thing with reproductive biology. Okay, and these are the ones that come up in that category. So you can start to tell this is a keyword search. This is based on uh, research topics and keywords for research topics. And getting a little bit more specific, you could also enter reproductive technology if that's your particular focus. And these would come up because that was a specific need that was identified. Again, so just so you can connect that search with what's in the report, reproductive research on gamete preservation and thawing practices in artificial insemination would improve reproductive success. So it makes sense that ART would be reported here. And in fact, you can even do a search with ART. That's one of the keywords that we've input for everyone's convenience. You could even do a search with cryo cryopreservation if that is your specialty and that is what you want to isolate. Okay, so hopefully you can see how this has been set up for you. And as I'm talking about these different keywords that we're using, it makes sense to give you guys a list of what keywords what keywords we tended to input. So this is the help sheet that's linked at the top of the search portal. And if I go down to page five, there's a section specifically for research scientists who might be using this tool. All of these bulleted points are common words, common keywords that have been applied to in these reports and, and to these database entries. So searching these keywords are the most likely to get you the results that you're looking for. So I want to keep this up for everyone so that you can see the keywords while we continue our searches. Okay. All right, so let's do another example. Perhaps you're a nutrition advisor for a particular tag. You could use the associated tag field here in the middle to narrow your search. Uh, just as an example, I'll pick the PAX tag. So make that selection in associated tag and enter nutrition into research opportunities and press go. And these are the two that I find. So say I'm interested in Tamandua. I would select the report and go to page four because that contains the information on species sustainability needs. And reading through this, I would find this point about research, diet, or nutrition. And then I can get the details here in the need column. So if research, again, if research would be helpful but not critical, uh, the point is, would be found in this lower section that said additional research opportunities. But in this case, it's in the table, so indicating that it has a more substantial impact on sustainability. And in this case, I would find that Tamandu has experienced an array of health challenges that are linked to diet, so nutritional studies are needed. And if you wanted to follow up on this, as a reminder, you have contact information for the program leader on page three, right under SSP Sustainability Profile. You have that with their email. So I think that covers how to search for research opportunities and where in the reports you would find information that you'd be looking for. Does anyone have any questions before we conclude using the chat box? Okay. Okay, well, thank you so much for joining. Um, we appreciate your participation and hope that you enjoy using this new tool. Have a great day. Thank you.